mean to bring up the elephant in the room, but what's with the big hairy Russian? Who, Bogdan? Agent he fed me intel. If I left him there, they would have killed him. So we're going to give him his freedom. Did you call in the sweepers? Yeah, on their way. Good. Benji, how is it you're here? Oh, I passed the field exam. Crazy, right? Another sidekick? Are you just doing this to make me jealous? Where's that lunch pie? It's snuggle time. Welcome to the Fortress of Darkness, the nerdy nexus for all your geeky needs. I'm your host, Chris Chip. Who do you call when you don't have superpowers, are out for vengeance, and nobody likes you? Some fat guy in a chair with a computer, apparently. Cliff Notes is being put in the corner and forced to lend a hand in Marvel's microchip. David Linus Lieberman was created by Mike Barron and Klaus Janssen, November of 1987, in the pages of The Punisher. He is, or was, old Frank's go-to, the man in the chair, per se. Much like Castle, he's powerless, but it's his skills in hacking, engineering, resourcefulness, and development that make him valuable to the vigilante cause. He's also missing a finger taken from him by Vincent D'Onofrio. Remus? Serious? My old friend! David started life as a genius hacker, scamming his way as a criminal. Until, that is, he was nearly caught by the criminal underworld. Because of this, he pretty much retired. Well, if he's retired, then I'm retiring. Get this stupid thing off of- What? There's more? Lieberman unretired when his nephew was killed by the King Penguin. What? Oh, Kingpin. Gotta watch that. Around the same time Frank Castle was earning his code name, Lieberman reached out, and thus he became Microchip, the Punisher's Donna Troy. His workday didn't just involve hacking. Oh no. He also laundered money for Castle from the criminals they pursued and set up safe houses for him. And perhaps key of all, he became Frank's counselor. One batch, two batch, penny and diming takes a toll on a man's soul. How droll. David became the Punisher's de facto therapist and himself slowly began opening up to Castle. Microchip began opening up about his Faja, who was forced to make weapons. His what? His Faja, Dr. Evil. His sister, a housewife, and his son, Louis Frohickey, which is not a Mel Brooks character. Louis is eventually killed, and sometime later, David loses his finger to the Kingpin, who wants a favor from Frank. All this begins to fall on his shoulders, and he starts visiting a therapist himself, and assumes acting in the theater. For some reason, this upsets Frank, because he's not a Jersey Boys fan, and the two decide to take a break, with Davy Boy becoming a bartender. Microchip befriends a one Mickey Fondozzi, who's associated with Frank, and the trio become a team for a time. As Frank becomes more unstable, David decides to take action. He locks up Frank and begins performing psychological experiments to stabilize him. He replaces Tom Jane with Navy SEAL Carlos Cruz, who he hopes won't kill people. Of course, Frank escapes, and that's Never fun. So who are you, man? Shit! I'm the party pooper. As the Punisher debates killing him, villain Stone Cold bombs them, killing Microchip. Frank, still reeling from the Stone Cold stunner, laments over whether he would have killed him or not, and eventually just moves out with his life anyway. Punisher subsequently replaces him with yet another hacker named Henry. Henry is attacked by Megatac, and it's learned that a hacker has been tracking Frank and Henry. If you've been following, you'd know we didn't just include this by chance. For that hacker was none other than David Linus Lieberman. One day, Zvil the Hood needed help, so he revived Microchip in exchange for the promise of reviving his family and Frank's. To start this ritual, Microchip shoots S.H.I.E.L.D. agent G.W. Bridge. As the corpses revive, Frank burns them using villain Firebrand, believing that they aren't the real families. Frank then kills Firebrand. Geez, maybe Microchip was right. He then turns on David, because of course he would, but he fails to punisher him. As Frank searches for Lieberman to make him pay for the death of Bridge, Jigsaw captures David. Rampage, another third-party microchip now allied with Jigsaw, tells David he wants revenge on Frank as well. The Punisher is also captured, and Jigsaw allows him to get his vengeance before they all move on with their lives. Frank slits Microchip's throat, thus ending his saga at the hands of his old friend and ally. Microchip's appearances in other media include the 90s Spider-Man animated series, where he was called Chip, and the film Punisher Warzone, where he is played by Newman of uh, Wayne Knight. He seems to have found his place in the world of MCU television. He is first referenced by Sky. Her name is Daisy! <laughs> <laughs> 
when she mentions a member of the group, the rising tide named Micro. One of my sources, this guy, Micro, he's kind of a crime scene junkie. In Netflix's Daredevil season two, Frank Castle is pulling a disc out of hiding that says Micro on it. And finally, he eventually made his appearance in the Punisher Netflix series, played by Iban Moss Bakrak. In this version, he plays a former NSA analyst in hiding. That's all we have for today. Leave your comments in the deep web because let's face it, nobody wants to hear them. Please like, subscribe, and follow us on our social media, then turn on us because we need more enemies. This has been Cliff Notes, I'm Christian Villarreal, and you've been watching The Fortress of Darkness.